All right, guys, welcome to tutorial number four. We have created this forest where you can interact with trees and whatnot, but it feels kind of void of life. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, well, first fill up this uh, gap. There you go. Uh, but what I'll do here is I'm going to add some creatures uh, in this world so that I can interact with. So I'm going to go to Entities and then click on Add Entity for Units. And this will be top-down unit. And let's see if I have a cell sheet ready for rabbit already. If not, we'll have to shop for one. Okay, there, there's a sprite sheet for a rabbit here, but not sure if I'm a fan of this art. So what I'll do is I'll go on Google and search for top down 2D rabbit game asset. Uh, and itch.io is always a good website to, to look for game assets. Let's see what they got here. Uh, so we got some side view art. Those are all pretty nice. Let's try open game art. Uh, this is also a pretty good website for game assets. So I'm going to search for top down rabbit. More bunny, maybe? Oops. Bunt. Cool. So we got some uh, bunnies here. Uh, let's take a look at this. We got a bunny sheet. Yeah, this is pretty good, honestly. Now, I don't think we're going to need... Um, I think we just need a, a few sprites for top-down view for this particular game. Um, so I think these are idle movements and I think these are for, for moving. Um, so what I'll do is, uh, I'm going to import this using the, uh, a sprite, which is the, uh, image editor tool that I'm using. Um, I'm going to import the sprite sheet, uh, which is this and, uh, I'll, uh, here, let me resize the window so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to, um, define the width and height of these animations. I think it'll be 32 by 32. Nope, uh, it's uh, slightly bigger than that, it seems. Um, I think they're 32 by 32, but um, it's not. It's just not quite uh, consistent. Uh, what I'll do is I'll actually move these um, manually, one by one. Oh yeah, there you go. So let me try to uh, import this one more time. And uh, assuming that they're at 32 by 32, it looks something like this. I'm pretty happy with uh, what they look like now. Um, so, okay, so one's um, eating animation in Sims, which is fine. And then, yeah, these are the uh, moving animation. I do see... Oh, it's my dog having a nightmare. Oh, this one goes to the right slightly, so I'm going to move it to the left one frame. Okay, let's start over. Yeah, it looks all right, I think. So what? Uh, one more thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to remove the paddings for left and right. So um, I'm going to go to canvas size, is it? Okay, and we'll make it. So I'm reducing the border size, I think minus five and minus five left and right or six maybe. It's pretty good. Yeah, no, this looks pretty optimized. All right, my dog is okay now. Uh, I did notice that this idle animation, which it looks like the, the, the bunny is just eating food like this. but uh, uh, I think it looks a bit weird how the base of the uh, the bunny, the legs are moving up, up and down, as you can see. This doesn't feel natural to me. So what I'll do is I'll move this sprite one up pixel. Okay, that's better. And this one a bit higher as well by two pixels, I think. Okay. Yeah, this looks a lot better. Yeah. And then these are the move animation uh, from frame one to five. 
All right, so the next step is to export this frame into a sprite sheet. So yeah, it becomes uh, a one image that I can use in our game engine. All right, and I do have to click on open sprite sheet here and then click on export. I'm gonna go ahead and save it here. Uh, I'll just call it bunny sheet uh, PNG. All right, so we have the sheet now. Ooh, I forgot to do one important thing, which is to actually flip this image upside down. Uh, you'll see why. So I'm just going to go ahead and rotate the canvas by 180 degrees. Uh, as you can see, now that the image has been flipped. I'll save it again. And um, now we're going to go back to the game editor. Uh, we're going to open the entities again. And we're going to add an entity. Uh, top down unit and we'll call it buddy and we're gonna change the cell sheet with the buddy sheet that we just created we have to specify how many columns and rows there are for this cell sheet so there are one two three four five six seven eight eight columns and one row so we'll specify that um and then the next step is to define animation. So for now, for default animation, we'll just define um, just a sitting animation like this. I think this is fine. Before saving it, we're going to define the body. Uh, the body of this unit should be, so the height is 32. That's default size of the sprite. Now the width is 168, but then there's eight columns. So uh, an individual cell would be so it'd be 21. I'll just go ahead and save it. Save it. Okay, so now we have a new unit called Bunny. Um, and then what we're going to do is we'll go to the world scripts. And you see where we spawn um, 30 trees? Let's also spawn 30 bunnies. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new action. And then we'll create a unit, add a position, uh, unit type Bunny or AI player that we defined previously at a random position in the entire game, the entire map region, facing zero angle. Cool. All right, so we'll save this and we'll republish the game. All right, look at this. We got a bunch of little bunnies in the game now. Uh, we can actually uh, collide with them as well, as you can see. Very cool. And yeah, so the bunnies can be pushed. However, the, the trees cannot. Um, but yeah, they're pretty lifeless and all. So let's try to uh, give them life. So what we're going to do is first, I, I do want to make them a little bigger slightly. So let's open them and then go to their body and increase the size by double. So instead of 21, we'll do 42 and the height is going to be 64. Um, and we're going to save that. And as for the animation, we're going to add a new animation called moving. And we'll define the frames for moving. Um, and I believe it'd be the fifth one, sixth one, seventh one, and eighth one. And we're going to run this at about 10 frames per second. And we'll just keep on looping indefinitely. And the next thing we're going to do is under effects, we are going to um, define the animation when idle. So it's going to be default animation where there's just one frame. And when the unit is moving, we're going to apply the moving animation. Okay. Um, and one last thing is under AI tab, we're going to enable AI for this unit. And we are going to define the idle behavior. So when the unit is not doing anything, we'll have this unit wander around. Uh, this should be good enough. So I went ahead and saved it. Let's go ahead and save and republish again and see what happens. Wow, okay, look at that. You can now see the, the rabbit moving around. A lot more lively, right? Now, one thing we cannot forget to do is to give this creator an attribution. So this guy, Red Strike, the, you got to make sure to check the licenses of these assets that are available for free online. 
And if you take a look, there are CC BUI 3.0. And if you click on this, you can learn more about this license. But basically, you have to give them the uh, a proper attribution and make a, a link uh, to this license. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll go back here, copy this link, and then I'll go back to my game and go under project settings under menu. You can actually um, write a message for your game. So I'll just go ahead and And yeah, now you can see that uh, the credit is given to this person. Awesome. So, all right. So the bunnies are moving, um, but you can't really interact with the bunnies. Uh, why don't we make it so we can actually hunt the bunnies? Let's get to the part in our next tutorial video. So thanks for watching.